Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from our channel, Who Died Today America. In this video we'll be highlighting American celebrities who have passed away in the last few days, along with other notable figures from around the world. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Now let's begin. In turn, named them after my favorite Renaissance painters. They wanted him to sound like a, a very learned. Peter Renaday, the beloved voice actor best known for his role as Hamato Yoshi Master Splinter in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series, passed away at the age of 89. Renaday was found at his home in Burbank, California, where he appeared to have died of natural causes. His passing marks the end of an extraordinary six-decade career in voice acting and entertainment. Renaday's portrayal of Master Splinter from 1987 to 1996 left a lasting impact on fans worldwide. His voice brought to life the wise and compassionate mentor of the teenage mutant Ninja Turtles, a character that has remained iconic in pop culture for generations. Beyond TMNT, Renaday lent his voice to a wide array of beloved characters in popular series such as Animaniacs, Transformers, and the animated Batman and Superman series, showcasing his incredible versatility. Renaday's talent extended beyond television and into the magical world of Disney. He voiced Abraham Lincoln in the Hall of Presidents and brought characters like Henry and Max to life in the Country Bear Jamboree at Walt Disney World. His contributions to Disney's theme parks added a touch of warmth and nostalgia that delighted audiences for decades. A dedicated performer with a distinct voice, Peter Renaday not only captured the hearts of children, but also of adults who grew up listening to his iconic characters. His work left an indelible mark on the worlds of animation and theme park attractions, making him a treasured figure in the industry. Renaday was preceded in death by his wife, Florence Flo Daniel, who worked alongside him in the entertainment industry as a secretary for Walt Disney Studios. Their enduring partnership was a testament to their shared love of storytelling and creativity. Peter Renaday's legacy will continue to resonate through the characters he brought to life. He leaves behind a world of fans who grew up with his voice and cherish the joy and wisdom he brought into their lives. As we say goodbye to this incredible talent, we celebrate the countless memories he gifted us. Rest in peace, Peter Renaday. Your voice will echo on forever. James Earl Jones, the legendary actor known for his commanding presence and iconic voice, passed away at the age of 93. Best known as the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars and Mufasa in The Lion King, Jones's career spanned decades and left an indelible mark on film, television, and theater. Born in Arkabootla, Mississippi, on January 17, 1931, Jones overcame a severe stutter in his youth, finding his voice through memorized poetry. His journey from a quiet boy who pretended to be mute to one of the most admired voices in entertainment is a testament to his resilience and talent. He made his stage debut in 1958 and quickly rose to prominence with his Tony Award-winning performances in The Great White Hope and Fences. His portrayal of America's first black heavyweight champion in The Great White Hope earned him an Oscar nomination, solidifying his status as a powerhouse in the acting world. Jones's unforgettable voice became synonymous with some of the most iconic characters in film history. Darth Vader, he brought a depth and menace that captivated audiences. And as Mufasa, his gentle yet authoritative tone inspired generations. Off screen, he was also known as the voice of CNN, adding gravitas to the network's iconic introduction. Throughout his career, Jones received numerous accolades, including an honorary Oscar, a special Tony Award for a lifetime achievement, and two Emmy Awards, making him one of the few actors to achieve the coveted EGOT status. He was also honored by having the Court Theatre on Broadway renamed the James Earl Jones Theatre in 2022. Beyond his professional achievements, Jones was a devoted husband to his late wife, Cecilia Hart, 
and a loving father to their son, Flynn. His life and career were guided by his father's advice. To pursue acting not for fame or fortune, but out of love for the craft. James Earl Jones leaves behind a legacy of powerful performances and an unwavering commitment to his art. His voice and presence will be deeply missed, but his impact on the world of entertainment will resonate for generations to come. James Darren, the beloved actor, singer, and director, passed away at the age of 88 due to heart failure. A versatile talent with a career spanning over six decades, Darren became an icon of the screen and stage, charming audiences with his performances in films, television, and music. Born James William Ercolani in Philadelphia on June 8, 1936, Darren's early passion for performing led him to New York City, where he studied acting under the legendary Stella Adler. His big break came with the 1959 surf film Gidget, in which he starred as Moondoggy, a role that cemented his status as a teen heartthrob. His musical talent shined as well, with hit singles like Goodbye Cruel World, which topped charts and earned him a dedicated fan base. Darren's acting versatility was evident in his numerous roles, from war dramas like The Guns of Navarone, to his memorable part as Dr. Anthony Newman in the science fiction series, The Time Tunnel. He later became known to a new generation of fans as Officer James Corrigan on T.J. Hooker, and as the suave holographic singer Vic Fontaine on Star Trek. Deep Space Nine, where his character's performances reignited his singing career. As a director, Darren showed his talents behind the camera, contributing to popular series like Hunter, The A-Team, and Beverly Hills, 90210. His ability to adapt and thrive in various entertainment mediums showcased his deep love for the craft and his commitment to storytelling. Beyond his career, Darren was known for his charm, kindness, and enduring passion for music. He was a devoted family man, leaving behind his sons and grandchildren who cherished his guidance and warmth. James Darren's legacy as a performer who could capture the joy of youth, the depth of character, and the spirit of music will be remembered fondly. His talent and charisma left an indelible mark on Hollywood, and he will be deeply missed by his fans, peers, and loved ones. Betty A. Bridges, who passed away at the age of 83 on September 4th, was an actress, acting coach, and beloved matriarch, known for her enduring contributions to television and the lives she touched throughout her remarkable career. Betty, the mother of different stroke star Todd Bridges, passed away peacefully in hospice care at Todd's home in Phoenix. Born in Dallas, Betty Bridges carved out a notable career in Hollywood, appearing on popular television shows such as Different Strokes, Hill Street Blues, Ally McBeal, ER, and many others. With appearances spanning over four decades, Betty's talent graced shows like Police Woman, Good Times, Charlie's Angels, and NYPD Blue, leaving a mark on the entertainment industry with every role she embraced. Beyond her on-screen presence, Betty was an influential acting coach and manager, she co-founded Cane Bridge Academy, nurturing the talents of future stars such as Nia Long, Regina King, Santa Lothan, and Tony O'Dell. Her passion for teaching and mentoring young actors showcased her dedication to helping others find their own voice in Hollywood. Betty's impact extended far beyond her professional achievements. As a devoted mother, she played a crucial role in her son Todd's life, especially during his struggles with addiction. Her unwavering support, tough love, and constant belief in him were instrumental in his recovery, highlighting the power of family and the strength found in unconditional love. In addition to Todd, Betty is survived by her children Jimmy Bridges, Verda Bridges, and Zirondrick, as well as 12 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Her legacy of kindness, guidance, and resilience continues to shine through the lives she touched both personally and professionally. The family has asked for donations in Betty's name to be made to the Global Recovery Initiatives Foundation, honoring her commitment to supporting recovery and celebrating the lasting impact of her life. Betty A. Bridges will be remembered not only for her work in front of the camera, 
but also for the hearts she helped to heal and inspire behind the scenes. Will Jennings, the celebrated American lyricist known for penning some of the most iconic songs in music history, passed away at the age of 80 on September 6th at his home in Tyler, Texas, after several years of declining health. Jennings' words have resonated with millions, making him a revered figure in the world of songwriting. Born in Kilgore, Texas, Jennings began his career teaching English before dedicating himself to songwriting. His talent for capturing raw emotion and storytelling through lyrics brought him immense success. With a career spanning decades, Jennings' work has touched various genres, collaborating with legendary artists such as Eric Clapton, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, and Steve Winwood. Jennings' ability to craft timeless songs was evident in his unforgettable hits like Tears in Heaven, written with Clapton, which won Song of the Year, and the Oscar-winning My Heart Will Go On, performed by Celine Dion for the film Titanic. His work not only climbed the charts, but also left an indelible mark on the hearts of listeners worldwide. Jennings' lyrics often told stories of love, loss, and hope, creating an emotional connection that transcended generations. He won numerous accolades throughout his career, including three Grammy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and two Academy Awards. Jennings was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, a testament to his incredible impact on the music industry. His collaborations with artists like Joe Cocker on Up Where We Belong and his contributions to soundtracks for films like Moulin Rouge and A Beautiful Mind further solidified his reputation as a master lyricist. Beyond his professional success, Jennings was remembered for his gentle spirit, generosity, and love of family. He is survived by his wife, Carol, and his two sisters, Joyce and Gloria. His legacy lives on in the songs that continue to move and inspire. Will Jennings' words will forever echo in the music he created, reminding us of the power of a beautifully crafted lyric to touch the soul. His contributions to music are unforgettable, and his voice will live on through the melodies he helped bring to life. Patti Yasutake, best known for her role as Nurse Alyssa Ogawa in the Star Trek franchise, passed away at the age of 70 after battling a rare form of T-cell lymphoma. Yasutaki's grace, talent, and dedication to her craft left a lasting impact on fans and colleagues alike. Born on September 6, 1953, in Gardena, California, Patti Yasutaki began her acting career in 1985 with an appearance on T.J. Hooker, and her career only blossomed from there. She became a beloved figure in the Star Trek universe, where her portrayal of Nurse Ogawa made her a familiar and comforting presence on the USS Enterprise. Her role symbolized compassion, strength, and dedication, earning her a special place in the hearts of fans worldwide. Beyond Star Trek, Yasutake's talents graced both stage and screen. She was recognized for her role in the independent film The Wash, for which she received an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Supporting Female in 1988. Her performance in the film showcased her versatility as an actress, bringing depth and humanity to every role she undertook. Patty's work extended to other television roles, including appearances on shows like Boston Legal, where she continued to display her range and commitment to storytelling. Yasutaki's ability to bring characters to life was matched by her dedication to the acting community and her supportive spirit toward her peers. Off-screen, Patty was known for her kind nature and her devotion to her family. She was a proud sister to Irene Hirano and resided in Hollywood, California with her loving husband. Those who knew her describe her as a warm, generous, and deeply compassionate person who inspired everyone around her. Patti Yasutake's legacy is one of talent, kindness, and unwavering dedication to her craft. She will be remembered not only for her contributions to the world of entertainment, but also for the warmth she brought into every room she entered. Her spirit will live on in the hearts of her fans and the unforgettable characters she portrayed. Janet Andrewartha, the beloved Australian actress known for her roles on Prisoner and Neighbors, passed away at the age of 72 following a brief battle with cancer. 
Her remarkable talent and dedication to her craft left a lasting legacy in both television and theater. Born in Melbourne, Janet began her professional journey as a high school music teacher before discovering her passion for acting. After attending drama school, she made a name for herself on stage, performing with prominent companies like the Melbourne Theatre Company and Playbox Theatre. Over four decades, she brought a wide array of characters to life, including notable roles in the Three Penny Opera, Othello, and Good Works. Her outstanding portrayal of Viv in Tom and Viv earned her a Green Room Award, highlighting her talent and versatility. Janet's television career soared with her role as Rebecca Reb Keen in Prisoner, where her portrayal of the rebellious biker left an indelible mark on audiences. She later became widely recognized for her role as Lynn Scully on the long-running soap opera Neighbors, a character she portrayed across multiple seasons, capturing the hearts of fans worldwide. Her performance in Embassy earned her an Australian Film Institute Award nomination, reflecting her profound impact on the small screen. Despite her television success, Janet never strayed far from the stage, constantly returning to her theater roots. She also explored directing, showcasing her versatility and passion for the performing arts. Janet's final television roles in Safe Home and Fake reminded audiences of her enduring talent and dedication. Janet's co-stars and friends, including Jackie Woodburn and Stefan Dennis, remembered her as an exceptional actress and a kind soul who brought warmth and professionalism to every project. Her passing leaves a void in the Australian entertainment industry, but her legacy of powerful performances and her commitment to her craft will continue to inspire future generations. Janet Andrewartha will be deeply missed, but her spirit will live on through the countless characters she brought to life and the profound impact she had on her colleagues and audiences alike. Evelyn Thomas, the iconic American singer known for her vibrant voice and unforgettable high NRG hits, passed away at the age of 70. Born on August 22, 1953, in Chicago, Illinois, Evelyn rose to fame in the 1980s with dance anthems like High Energy, Masquerade, and Standing at the Crossroads, solidifying her legacy as a powerhouse in the world of dance music. Evelyn's career took off when she was discovered by British producer Ian Levine in 1975 while he was scouting for talent in the United States. Their partnership led to her first chart success with Weak Spot in 1976, and they continued to collaborate for many years, creating some of the most memorable dance tracks of the era. Her 1984 hit High Energy became a defining moment in her career, topping the charts in Germany and reaching the top five in the UK. The song's infectious beat and Evelyn's dynamic vocals made it a staple in clubs worldwide and her only entry on the Billboard Hot 100. Throughout her career, Evelyn continued to explore different musical styles, from disco and Eurobeat to R&B, always infusing her performances with passion and charisma. She released multiple albums, including her standout third album, High Energy, and continued to chart on the Billboard dance charts with hits like Reflections and How Many Hearts. Though her mainstream success in the U.S. was limited, her influence in the dance music scene remained strong, inspiring fans and fellow musicians alike. Beyond her music, Evelyn co-founded El Japan Entertainment Incorporated in 2009, demonstrating her dedication to the entertainment industry. Her vibrant personality, powerful voice, and enduring hits left a lasting impact on the world of dance music. Evelyn Thomas will be remembered as a trailblazer who brought joy to dance floors across the globe. Her legacy lives on in the timeless beats of her music, and she will continue to inspire generations of artists and fans. Rest in peace, Evelyn. Your high energy will never fade. Erica Ash, the talented actress and comedian known for her unforgettable roles in Survivor's Remorse and Mad TV, passed away at the age of 46 after a courageous battle with cancer. Erica was a vibrant force in entertainment, beloved for her quick wit, dynamic performances, and infectious energy. Born in 1977, Erica initially pursued a path in medicine, graduating from Emory University with a pre-medicine degree. 
However, her passion for performance led her to a successful career in entertainment. Erica's versatility and charisma shined in her early work on Broadway, including a national tour with The Lion King and later as a cast member on The Big Gay Sketch Show. Her comedic talent flourished on Mad TV, where she portrayed a range of celebrity impressions, including Naomi Campbell and Whoopi Goldberg. Erica became widely recognized for her role as M. Chuck in the Starz series Survivor's Remorse, where she portrayed the unapologetically bold and fiercely loyal half-sister of a professional basketball player. Her portrayal of M. Chuck earned her critical acclaim and endeared her to fans for its humor, depth, and authenticity. Erica's work extended beyond drama. She made audiences laugh in shows like Scary Movie Fee, Real Husbands of Hollywood, and In Contempt, as well as guest appearances on A Black Lady Sketch Show and Family Reunion. Erica's legacy is not just defined by her impressive body of work, but by the joy and inspiration she brought to those around her. Known for her sharp humor, genuine warmth, and zest for life, she touched countless lives both on and off the screen. Her family remembers her as an amazing daughter, sister, and friend whose memory will live on in their hearts. As we remember Erica Ash, her family has requested that donations be made to breast cancer foundations like Susan G. Komen for The Cure, honoring Erica's spirit and her brave fight against cancer. Erica's talent, laughter, and light will be deeply missed, but her influence and spirit will continue to shine brightly in the hearts of those who loved and admired her. Randall Malone, actor and president of the Southern California Motion Picture Council, passed away at the age of 66 due to kidney disease. A beloved figure in Hollywood, Randall was known for his charismatic presence, dedication to the arts, and his unwavering commitment to the entertainment community. Randall's career began with his first film role in Sunset After Dark, where he starred alongside Oscar winner Margaret O'Brien and Anita Page. However, it was his appearances on MTV's Singled Out in the 1990s that truly brought him into the limelight. Playing the character film star Randall Malone, he captured audiences with his charm and humor, becoming a fan favorite. Randall's versatility extended beyond acting. He also hosted segments for the Game Show Network, showcasing his lively and engaging personality. Beyond his on-screen talents, Randall was a devoted leader in the Hollywood community. As president of the Southern California Motion Picture Council, he championed the legacy of classic cinema and tirelessly supported the Motion Picture and TV Fund, dedicating his time and resources to help those in the industry. Randall worked closely with the late mayor of Hollywood, Johnny Grant, playing a significant role in securing stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame preserving the history and honoring the legends of the entertainment world. Randall's commitment to giving back extended to his personal life, where he was a caregiver for his ailing grandmother, demonstrating his compassion and selflessness. His legacy is marked not just by his work in film and television, but by his genuine dedication to the people of Hollywood. Randall is survived by his mother, Shirley, brothers Donald and James, sister Allison, and his partner of 38 years, Michael Schwibbs. His family, friends, and colleagues are planning a memorial service to celebrate his life and contributions. Randall Malone's impact on the entertainment industry and his passion for honoring Hollywood's rich history will be remembered fondly. He leaves behind a legacy of kindness, dedication, and a deep love for the art of storytelling. His presence will be sorely missed but his contributions will continue to shine in the hearts of those who knew him. Breaking news of the day. News one. Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, has shared an emotional update on her health journey, revealing she has completed chemotherapy six months after announcing her cancer diagnosis. In a heartfelt video message released by Kensington Palace, Kate, 42, expressed her relief at finishing treatment and her gratitude for the support she has received. As the summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment, Kate said. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant, 
and we have had to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. The video, filmed in Norfolk, England, offers a glimpse into Kate's life with her husband, Prince William, and their three children, Princes George and Louis and Princess Charlotte, enjoying family moments outdoors. Kate, who kept much of her treatment private, emphasized her focus on staying cancer-free and plans to gradually return to public duties. Buckingham Palace expressed their joy over Kate's progress, with King Charles and Queen Camilla sending their love and support as she continues on her path to recovery. News 2. Kathy Bates recently opened up about the pressures she faced to keep her cancer diagnosis a secret, highlighting the ongoing stigmas in Hollywood. Known for her powerful roles, Bates revealed that when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2003, her agent advised her to stay silent about her illness. My agent told me not to tell anyone about it, Bates shared, reflecting the fear that her condition might harm her career. Inspired by singer Melissa Etheridge's public battle with cancer, Bates chose a different path when she was diagnosed with breast cancer a decade later. Following a double mastectomy, she decided to live openly, embracing her flats and rejecting the use of prosthetics. I don't have breasts, so why do I have to pretend like I do? That stuff isn't important, Bates stated, underscoring her commitment to authenticity and advocacy. Today, Bates is celebrated not only for her remarkable acting, but also for her efforts to raise awareness about cancer and lymphedema. By challenging industry norms, Bates has become an inspiring figure, demonstrating that honesty and resilience can spark meaningful change both on and off the screen.